What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we are going to be doing a Galaxy Opal Tracy McGrady gameplay. A massive, massive shout out to Jerry Cleverly or Evil Evo 7 PSN for letting me use his account for this gameplay. So if we can hit 200 likes in the first hour, I will try, well not I will try, I will do a Derek Rose gameplay within the next 90 minutes. So 200 likes in the first hour for that gameplay. But anyway, yeah, so big, big thank you again for him for letting me use this account um, or these players. I will 100, 100% have all of these, get all these cards on my own account by the end of the day and get white Howard and stuff. There is no question about that, but big thank you again. It allows me to get these videos out a lot quicker for you guys. But it also means I can get more videos because I'm not waiting on players. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, the team we're running with is Jeremy Nett, the 1, Brandon Roy, the 2, T-Mac, the 3, Yance, the 4, and Dave Drops, the 5. The bench, we've got Penny, Jordan, Vince, Kevin Durant, and Marc Gasol. So anyway, Tracy McGrady, 1999, obviously, he is 6 foot 8, 39 Hall of Fame badges, volume shooter, catch and shoot, corner special, difficult shots, tired of shooter, acrobat, slippery off, ball relentless finisher, range extender, quick draw, anchor breaker, hot start, hot turn under, I think I'm running out of breath, like the fact that I'm almost losing my voice is not great. Sorry, lads, I've been... Um, my job involves me to be speaking most of the day, and I don't know, I think I might be coming down with something, and uh, my voice is just gone. Also, Hall of Fame clamps, interceptor, he's got Hall of Fame quick first step. Um, so, obviously, got most of the best Hall of Fame guys in the game, and a lot of really good goal ones. He's got an unreal driving layup, he's got 98 mid range, 98 three ball, 99 driving dunk. Great ball handle, he's got a great steal rating as well, great perimeter defense, solid block of 82. Great speed, speed ball acceleration, and 97 lateral quickness. So, yeah, um, really, really good. So, um, I am going to compare them to the other T-Max. So, they're both 99.99. Obviously, 21 extra Hall of Fame badges is big. So, I just want to compare the stats. Um, plus two, three-pointer. Much better block. Better rebounding. A little bit faster. I don't, like... I don't think he's going, like, obviously he's going to feel better, but I don't think he's going to feel enough better that, for example, if one T-Mac is, ends up going to end, like, 150k, and say this one here is, like, 500k, I don't think it's worth that much of an upgrade, but he is probably going to be a good bit better. So, anyway, yeah, um, we are now going to go onto the hot zones and release for Tracy McGrady, then we're going to get onto the game. So, Tracy McGrady has got hot zones everywhere on the floor. Release... Obviously, it's Tracy McGrady's with quick draw. So, while I definitely initially preferred his release with um, goal quick draw instead of Hall of Fame quick draw, the more I used Brandon Roy on my no money spend squad, the more I got used to his release. So, while I'm not going to necessarily say it's better with Hall of Fame quick draw than goal quick draw, it is actually faster. So, it means you can get it off. Well, it's obviously faster. We didn't know that. But it's also not too fast to time. Some of the releases like Wade's. To this day, I still can't get Dwayne Wade's release down. I've tried to use them a lot. I have them on my main squad. And it's just one of those releases that I cannot get down. So, obviously, T-Max is going to be a fantastic shooter. We know that T-Max is going to be able to attack the basket and dunk. He's going to be, without question, one of the best dunkers in the game. And mid-range shot. Pretty much everything he's going to do is... Well, is, is good, pretty much. He does everything well. There's nothing this guy does badly. And to be fair though, that's the same with so many cards in this game. They don't have a single weakness. And there is definitely no weaknesses yet on this Tracy McGrady card. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, now let's just green one three. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing Dwayne Wade, Drazen, Jimmy Butler, who's going to be a tough matchup for him, Giannis, and Shaq. So our Giannis obviously a good bit better than his Giannis. I think we have the advantage at every position, but he's got a good team. No doubt about it. I think we do have the advantage at every single position though. And the fact is, once he goes to that 94 mellow on the bench, I think we're going to destroy him. Okay. Oh, it's open. And that's green. Great start to the game right there by T-Mac. This is not going to be the easiest job in the world because, again, Butler is Hall of Fame clamps. But that's to be expected. Pretty much every card is Hall of Fame clamps now in this game. Dive. Good defense by D-Rob. Let's push to T-Mac. Let's open again, is it? Nope. Good board there by Lin. Probably could have pulled that. Definitely can pull this one. And that's green from deep again from Tracy McGrady. Why is shot feedback not on? Oh, no. I can't turn shot feedback on in the middle of a game. That is not good. That is not good. Shot feedback is probably is more important than meter. To be fair, though. Meter on, meter off. It's all preference. There's no advantage or disadvantage either way. But um, 
what you call it is all uh, is important feedback because you have some idea of how good or bad a shot is all right that was a not great defense play right there but again it's the first basket we've given up okay let's, i just want to see has he got any ability to go by screens not really to the basket good job t-max so the fact that he switched that screen is a good sign for me i don't see him doing anything major anyway in terms of playing defense so i think we should be quite all right in this game good tonight we missed it we're there though good defense Giannis. our board let's push t-max let's open again is it yep and that is green again i'm pretty sure at least one of those is contested at least one of those had to be contested and T-Mac is three or four from three to start the game okay he's completely switched off there and we don't oh we got space again three and tracy mcgrady greens another three-point shot he is auto greens right here four of five from three to start this game the defense right to roy T-Mac jr basically Tracy McGrady, he's got the post up, it's a little bit of space in the fade, and he greens the fade. That is 16 points now for Tracy McGrady in two and a half minutes. Oh no. What? Like he, the ball was actually going right to him and he ran away from the ball. I hate that, like I was literally flicking the stick to drag him back and he just kept running. I hate that when the ball's out of bounds and you can't even control your player. The defense, T-Mac, this should be a guaranteed three right here. Yep, that's another green. 19 already for T-Mac. Honestly, I'm just trying to end these games as soon as possible. Get some quick rage quits. Because the sooner I end these, the sooner the videos get up. And I'm pretty sure you guys can just straight up see how good Tracy McGrady is. Yeah, like 22 to 6. T-Mac literally missed a fadeaway and a heavily contested three. Everything else was green literally everything else was green that was ridiculously ridiculously good right there by t-mac so um pretty much what i'm going to do now is i am going to play a game of triple threat online see how he gets on there okay so we're playing tracy mcgrady yanis and chris bosh so he's gonna be matched up to bosh or yanis let's hope it's bosh it's yanis unfortunately you know, I don't think it makes much of a difference. We just get some space. He jumps on that one, T Mac to the basket, and T Mac makes the layup. Yeah, okay, that's all that matters. It does not matter at the end of the day whether um, who he's on. No one's going to be able to guard this Tracy McGrady. Like, I still to this day, well, to, until literally this day, over the past week, I have, argue, I have literally argued with people that Tracy McGrady is still the best card in the game. Like, even with Kevin Durant and stuff, while obviously it's not that popular opinion anymore, I still still by the fact that, for me anyway, the Pink Diamond T-Mac was the best card in the game. Oh, we find, like, it's possible. I wasn't even sure if it was possible to knock Green an open shot with him. That's how good his release had been so far. I was not even sure if that was possible. And I sold an open shot, so let's try to not do that again. Open, and that is good. Let's go, T-Mac. All right, good start to this game right here. Um, we have the lead, let's pinch and let him attack a boss, it's fine. Don't know how he's going to pass, is he? No, he's going to shoot the fade. How many offensive rebounds is this guy going to get in this game, to be honest? Either way, I don't think it matters because I think I'm confident enough with scoring every single possession with T-Mac. Oh, it's open. Maybe a bit deep. Nope, he literally scored from behind the halfway line. Literally behind the halfway line. I'm telling you, this card's different. This card is different. There's some, a lot of great cards in this game. Pink Diamond T-Max, great. This card is just straight up different. And we go, what's happened? We're actually selling every release right here. Obviously, Green Machine not triggering. There we go. We should be able to burn him. Right there, basket. Good dunk by T-Max. Let's go. We have a 10 to 6 lead right here. And I'm telling you right here, this is the best card in my team. Um, actually... Paul George might be in that conversation. I have not yet used Paul George. And I think Paul George, and obviously Kevin Durant's in the conversation. Um, Jordan, I don't think, is anywhere near the conversation. But 
Paul George is definitely going to be in that conversation. So I'm not going to straight up say I can guarantee you T Max the best in my team, but let's be real. He's either the best or you could make an argument he's the best. And you just got to chase them block right there on Giannis. Steal. T Mac. That's open. No, it's not. That's probably a smothered. It's fine. That's not fine at all. That's a bad shot as well, isn't it? Nope. Because it. All right. So just like that, this is back to a one point game. That's wide open. You can't leave team eight that open. I got two shots off winning this game. I can almost guarantee you one of my shots is going to be a three. And we go and give up a three right there. Okay. Uh, they may also be two shots away from this. That's good. No full eye glitch. Oh, it might have been a bit deep. Oh, pull up. Let's go, T Mac. That's. A little bit ridiculous with takeover. Not gonna lie. With takeover, that is a bit ridiculous to see. That's wide open. There we go. Green. Alright, so one more shot. Three or two, it does not matter. To be fair though, I think I'm going to just try to fake almost fake the two and take or fake the three and take the two. He's gonna expect the three. So I think I'm gonna snatch back and burn. I should have just shot that. Just like that. Smart move. We blow the layup though. And they get the board. Okay, I don't really mind what they do here because we have another chance. Goes in, it goes in, and they blow it. T Mac moving three. He can't hit that. Come on. That's not good by me. That's a sell. Like there's no other uh, way to describe that. That's just purity of sell by me. It's steal. It's T Mac moving mid. There we go. So anyway, that is the video. Tracy McGrady is probably the best card in my team. I don't really know how you can argue anyone else. Actually, no, I know how you can argue. You can argue that Kevin Durant is better. I don't know if there's any other arguments you can make. I actually don't. Maybe Dwight Howard, maybe Paul George who I haven't used. But I don't think you can make an argument for any other players, to be honest. Anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, sorry, before we go... Follow the guy whose account, uh, okay, let me use his account on Twitter. A link will be in the description. Anyway, now, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.